All right, guys, welcome back. Let's drop down the bodies menu, and I want to select these two little uh, cylindrical pieces here. So I'll grab both of those bodies, right click, go to move, and let's go to the left view. And I just want to uh, bring these a bit closer to the wall so they're housed somewhere in between here. Let's hit OK. Now let's go back to the front view and let's hit F to enter fillet mode. And I want to round off some of this area here by the by the handle. So we just round this off. That looks so much better. <laughs> let's go back to the front view and let's start working on some more detail. So um, we have this area here for like the safety, I assume. So let's select that surface and create a sketch. And I'll just use a line here, just that simple. Now I'll finish sketch and go to create pipe. And I'll make this line a pipe, a cylindrical pipe. So I'll change it from cut to new body. And also let's uh, downscale that a bit. So let's choose this surface on top and let's just press pull to ensure that this goes over this body. And let's do the same for the bottom if that's not already done. Now what we can do is just control C, control V to duplicate that. And we could have patterned this around, but I prefer to do it this way. Just hit control V again. And that's it. And we'll go to combine. Combine the main with the three subs. And let's cut those shapes out. And we can um, also, what I like to do is select this shape here. Control C, control V this. And I'll just toggle off the original. And let's just combine these. So I'll go to combine, select the main body. And choose this piece here. And I'll just cut that shape out. Now I can choose this surface here and press pull this and bring it in a bit more to give it more depth. And we can fillet this around here. So we'll just fillet these corners, round those off. That looks good. Now we'll hit fillet one more time to select these two edges. And this give it some, some breathing room here. So now we can toggle back on that piece that we turned off. Now what I like to do is start working on some of this detail right around here. Because this kind of doesn't make sense just yet. So what I'll do is select this surface and I'll press pull this. Actually no, I'll create a sketch. And I'll finish sketch. Now I'll press pull this profile. I just want to press pull this to about the mid section. Now what I'll do is turn off the canvas. And I'll combine these two pieces together to create one one part. I said OK. And now I think it's a good idea for me to join these two pieces together for the side post, the rear side. And then I'll combine those two together. And now I can hit F to fillet this corner here. And we can also um, what I want to do now. I'll just hit F to fill up this inside area of the charging handle so it looks more round. It's the little details that actually matter guys. People catch on to it. So let's select this surface and create a sketch. And we can use the two point rectangle or we can use the line tool to copy this reference. And once we're satisfied we'll right click hit OK and we'll just press pull this profile. And we'll pull it inwards Spice it up a bit. Now that's good. Now back in the front view, what I like to do now is uh, select this surface here and create a sketch. And use my circle diameter circle tool from the center point and draw out a little uh, circle. I'll make it a little bit smaller than the actual area. And I'll press pull this and I'll just select this surface here to reference the height. And I'll change it from join to new body. And then I'll go to modify chamfer and I'll just chamfer off this edge so it looks like there's something more going on with this like it's manufactured details micro details and all that now let's select the bottom face of the canister and create a sketch and let's use the offset tool here to select the perimeter and we can just make this a little bit smaller so right around here we'll right click press pull and let's go to the front view so we can see this reference Let's pull it to about here. Change from join. We'll leave it at join. And let's hit F to enter fillet mode and we'll just round this off. 
and that looks good. That's it okay. Now, uh, what I'd like to do now is select the surface once again and create a sketch. And I think I'll just finish sketch and I'll press pull this profile through the bottom to give it a little bit more intricacy. Now back to the front view, let's toggle off this canvas. Let's go to combine, select the main body, and now select this supplemental body here so we can join those together. And back in the left view, let's select this front little flat face here and create a sketch and use our two point rectangle to draw a rectangle from this left corner to the right and we'll just press pull this we're just going to press pull this to about this area here just to uh, close it out and help fill in that gap and let's hit OK now we can go to modify chamfer let's just chamfer this bottom line here, this bottom edge you know I like to spice things up then we'll combine the main body with this so it all goes together and this is a good time to wrap this video up we made a lot of progress and I'll catch you in the next one.